Hey guys, Mikey here. Welcome back to another short video of the Intermediate Data Analysis in R tutorial series. So, in the past few days, we looked at how to create for loop, repeat loop, and while loop. So, today we'll be looking at a sample nested for loop. So, for that, we have a very simple code here. So, maybe first I will run it and then explain. So, what we, are, we have done here is that we have one loop inside another loop. So the first in the first loop we are telling that for i in 1 to 3 and so in this case we will have three values for i that is 1 2 and 3 and then within that for loop we are having another loop where we tell that for j in 1 to 2 so here we have two values 1 and 2 so how it works is that when for i in 1 to 3 so the first case when i equal 1 it will go down and in that case j equal 1 and so i equal 1 and j equal 1 and then it will print the value i plus j so that will be the case one where it will calculate 1 plus 1 and that's the result we have and then it will go back again so it will be still within the second loop because we just use j equal 1 now it will do j equal 2 so in the second case it will be 1 plus 2 and that's the result 3 so once we use j equal 1 and j equal 2 then it goes outside this loop and go back to the start and in this case we will have i equal 2 right because we already used i equal 1 and it will go down again to the second loop so i equal 2 and j equal 1 so that's the third case where 1 plus 2 we get 3 and then it will go back again to j so this is the second case of j so j will be 2 whereas i equal also 2 so that's the fourth case 2 plus 2 and when these two are done then it will go outside the second loop and it goes back again to the first loop so in this case we already used i equal 1 i equal 2 now the third case is i equal 3 so we have i equal 3 and then we go down to the second loop so in the first case it will be j equal 1 so it will be 3 plus 1 and we will get 4 and after that it will go to the second time of j loop and we will have 2 so it will be like 3 plus 2 that is equal to 5 so yeah in total here we have i equal 1 to 3 and here we will have I equal j equal 1 to 2 so in together we will have six different cases well that's all for now i hope you guys found this video helpful but yeah i know it's a bit confusing but yeah try to maybe slow down and understand it step by step because it's going to be really useful in your works and we will look deep into it and maybe how to look within a data frame and those kind of things in the upcoming videos for now i hope you guys found this video helpful i will see you guys tomorrow with another video till then ciao